Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, teamasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch that's actually part of our Govberg sister brand, as this is a new timepiece on loan from the manufacturer. This would be a watch you buy through Govberg, but I'm going to introduce it in my watch box fashion as the 2021 25 piece limited edition angelus u30 black titanium a tourbillon retropont in titanium with dlc accenting 47 millimeters in diameter by 15.3 millimeters thick by 57.6 millimeters lug tip to lug tip and 22 millimeters between the lugs this is all new from angelus which is the upscale brand of arnold and son which in turn is the brand that is marketed by the full manufacturer and engineering house, La Jupere. Right now, Angelus makes about 60 to 70 watches a year, so it is the elite of the elite compared to the 700 rough watches made from Arnold and Son in a given year. So with so few manufactured, they tend to ensure that each individual unit is an event. And this is the kind of watch that would cost $1 million if it were made by Richard Mille. And I do encourage you to make that comparison to this $72,000 compound complication. So being a large watch at 47 millimeters, I'm gonna recommend you have a fairly large wrist to wear it. I would say you don't wanna wear it on a wrist any smaller than mine. It wears all right on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. The shape of the lugs is actually quite helpful as they curve down around the edge of my wrist and it's not quite overlapping the edge but it is right out to the edge you can see it's a little bit lower than you might expect given how many complications and automatic winding are involved but at the end of the day, I say 16 centimeters circumference wrist or larger, any smaller, you're going to want to look at something like the U41 Sport Tourbillon from Angelus. Now, getting a little bit closer, we take a look at the hardware and the software. Angelus, smart to fit a vulcanized rubber strap here. You can see there's a little bit of a, a tear pattern and a motif with the Angelus logo and a cutaway to remove material, create some visual articulation, but also make the strap more flexible. Angelus logos and motifs on the underside, and you can see that this is an Angelus factory strap in brand new condition. The buckle in matching titanium is a double folding clasp so this is your insurance against accidentally dropping the thing pardon me only the outer clasp is titanium internally the swing arms are stainless steel the timepiece equipped with a folding clasp with the angelus logo external the idea here being that when you are donning or removing a large and expensive watch, you don't want to accidentally drop it. And that's that's the security you get with a folding clasp. Jumping back to the case, you can see it's relatively simple and in some ways similar to Arnold and Son cases. It's round about its midsection and then has some sharply tapered and very short cropped lug profiles. This is titanium grade five, which means it's the scratch resistant stuff. With a combination of satin finish and polish for accenting, you can see the mid case has longitudinal satin finish as well as a couple of character lines molded in and then it has that black DLC coating which is exceptionally scratch resistant diamond like carbon. Taking a quick look at the crown profile you can see that the pushers themselves are nicely detailed. They're satin finished outboard and then they're polished on their bevels. Uh, they are also satin finished on their top and then on their bottom faces. We have a coaxial split seconds trigger for the retropont system and you can see that you have two seconds hands and the ability to gauge a waxing or waning gap between for example two to race cars and you are able to continuously update that split using the pusher for the retropont which is coaxial with the crown you can also appreciate that the timepiece includes a few handsome details not to be overlooked splashes of color we have silver we have gray we have black we have red hashes for the minutes register which is semi-instantaneous jumping the tip of the seconds hand the power reserve scale including a little bit of green and red and then red hashes outboard for reading the seconds fractions of seconds and minutes we have a dial side second column wheel that's the one for the split second so it's a twin column wheel lateral clutch chronograph and it has outstanding column wheel feel on both the primary which is on the reverse side and the secondary which is on the dial side the watch does include a tourbillon it is a one minute tourbillon and you can see it rotates up at about 10 
1.35 on the dial. It is a 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate, a one minute tourbillon, and when the chronograph is not running, it doubles as your seconds register. There is a power reserve indicator down at approximately, we'll call this one 7.35. 45 hour automatic winding power reserve. The watch does include an automatic winding system, and this caliber, which is known as the A150, is packed with features, two column wheels and a lateral clutch for a split second chronograph, a 22 carat mass, not 21, not 18 carat, not tungsten, a 22 carat mass for the automatic winding system. It's adjusted in a chronometer style, five standard positions. It pivots on 38 joules. And of course we have four complications if we're counting the automatic winding system. We have the power reserve, the split second, the tourbillon and the automatic winding system. This is a technically proficient movement, again, made entirely in-house. This is something that is a proficiency at Angelus as to date all of its watches launched since 2015 and the revival of the age-old brand. All of its watches have been tourbillon watches. 30 meters water resistant so it's a sporty watch not an aquatic sports watch. Again compare it to a tourbillon split second chronograph RM and you'll get a sense of the value here from a manufacturer that is able to build the entire watch. Reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.